Okay, let me just show you. Let me show you because uh, we have we've been acquiring data, and the result of process to result or what you interpret this is almost a 15 line IP, which was actually acquired, and you know um, these are some of the interpretations. Mm -hmm. Definitely, we you have a resistivity section, which is this, right? And you have your IP section, which is the chargeability section. The resistivity section is measured in ohm meter, and why this is actually measured in meter se seconds, right? Now, if you look at this, this is a logarithmic kind of uh, um, um, uh, grading. Why this is a linear grading? Now, if you look at this, you can see the inverse model. This is the inverse model of this section for resistivity, and inverse model for chargeability section. Hmm? Now, looking at this now, you can see that you can have, uh, you can see some geological section up here, and you can see boundaries. Are you seeing it? You can see boundaries, and you can see also another boundary here. Hmm? You can see this a clear discontinuity here. So there will be, yeah, you can see the black line that I actually tried to show there's a discontinuity here. Do you understand? Because if you look at this, this body and this body are different. Um, uh, it's, uh, there's a white uh, difference. Is that not true? Because this is over 40, 50. Why this is just about less than 10. You get it? So, and definitely, men looking at this, that will tell you that if you look at the the resistivity you can find out that this is a typical uh, sedimentary terrain because the resistivity is less than 100 here you understand it's a very typical sedimentary terrain and mainly shale because you understand shale conducts a lot and has a, um, a lesser resistivity hmm? than other like basements you understand if it's basement the resistivity values here will be very high, higher than what we are looking at. Yes, because of, you know, they are very resistive, you know, because of compaction, pressure, and all that. So, but this one allows a least flow of current more than that of basement. That, that is the principle behind having a lower resistivity in basement, I mean, sedimentary than compared to basement. Then the chargeability is the amount of, you know, the time it takes you know, for current to be retained. It's just like um, inducing current in a body and allowing a charge, you know, to actually see how long you can hold the charge. The longer the charge, mm, the higher the chargeability. The lower, I mean, the longer the time, mm, the lower, the, the, the higher the chargeability. The lower the time, the lower the chargeability. You understand? It's just like saying that a body is chargeable. The chargeability of a body depends on its ability to retain charge with some, you know, within some time. If you can retain amount of charge within so, so, so amount of time, you can say that ah, that body is chargeable. Do you understand? So that is the principle behind this of uh, measurement. And based on that, we can see some locations. So we we'll try to look at some chargeable bodies because of some sulfide mineralization. Sulfide actually tends to retain, uh, you know, some some stability um, at least more than the surrounding road stroke and all that. And again, another thing that is very important here is the contrasting ability, as in the contrasting characteristics of the entire formation. What is actually hosting what they are looking for, whether you know they have a close relationship or they have a wider relationship. The wider relationship, the better the easier for you to resolve, you know, the anomaly. You get it. So if you look at this now, you can see that the, the chargeability here actually shows you an IP in a very deep in format. You can see that this body is actually deep in. Do you understand? I you can see what I took up to here. You can see it here. Then let's, you can look at this. That's why if you look at it, I said that the IP section will be the moderately enclosed in black. Chargeable body that dips easily from digs to digs, you know, and I was able to tell you where it actually occurs. If you look at digs, you can see 
another another interesting body also deep in these are another section now these are different different these are different sections these are dif different sections yes different section different location of course now profile these are different can see the profile line of two the spacing is about 100 meter between that and that now you can see also if you look at this section look at this section you see they are the same thing i mean they are having some anomalies in likely locations you are telling you of continuity the same depth the same kind of you know behavior if you look at here this is another one line four in the same line four hmm, you have here them are normally of course here you understand but you might not really appreciate this until you see the 3d section for you the 3d section can bring them all in one look at this 3d section of ip here you can see uh, let's go to 3d section see 3d section of the entire of the entire line this is up to line 11 you can see a continuity in terms of chargeability you can see it so you can see high chargeability all are within this line four line five line six seven and eight so from here to here and the spacing here are 50 50 why the spacing between these and these are 100 you can see this one is widely spaced more than this ones you understand so you can see a very clear um continuity in terms of uh, normally within here but if you look at this and this and that the pattern in the anomaly here is 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 not as, as very high as what you see within this line hmm? and the same thing this is like viewing it from the top this is at the depth of 40 meters you can easily see you see this is 3d view a plan section of chargeability at 40 meters can see how it looks like here and you can see the trending yeah and these two you can see this is at uh, 60 you see it's clearer here compared to here because the more you go down it increases you get it so that is that four lines show the very much consistency in terms of uh, uh, chargeability and look at the grid here response you know for here you can see a very good trending you can see a clear demarcation here this is the entire line now in bringing them you know they are all together in one making them uh, trying to bring them into dimensions for you to actually see easily how they got but if you want to deal with them at one section by section this is what you are going to look at you get it so this is what it looks like um to interpret uh, the 2d a 3d image from uh, ERT ip uh application so i know it might be a bit strange to you but you need to actually have an idea first of what i'm saying then by ask some questions also and time goes on it maybe you can they're not actually having an idea of it at all Hmm? so if you are targeting now this is actually what you are trying to you have to now target and see what is actually what is based on this you get it this is line six you can see this this line looks very interesting if you look at it like the highest chargeability will have you see and simply dipping you can see we have it also correspond to high resistive value here mm -hmm. you see and also it's actually also have some trends here but it's not as strong as it takes but also it takes because it's over 200 and something closely about 300 yeah. you know so this is above 400 can see the same location can see something also um, same location here yeah. you see this is 
and they are dipping in one location in one direction except line one they are all dipping westly they are all dipping westly uh this is from east to west east to west so they are dipping towards the west hmm? this is like you are looking at this now it's like looking at this section it's like you're looking at this this is like you are looking you are looking towards the north and the south is facing you am i correct no okay that is it if you're looking at this like this now this is if this is west it's like you are looking towards the south that what it is because this is your left east this is your west this is facing you this way yes it's facing you this way no what is facing you is north north is facing you that's what it means check it now another way you look at it look at it uh, that's what it is uh, i don't have my trading yeah This is the entire block. Yes, this is the entire block. You get it? Yes, this is the entire block. See, see the depth? See the anomalies here? At the suffix, there, won't be, there are no anomaly at the suffix. You understand? If you want to see this the entire block, um the entire block this is then this is the yeah how it looks like this is this is like one is somewhere here this is now this is south this is this is north this is south this is north this is south but no we started from, this is east now this is west have you seen it this is, that is it now. This is east, this is west, this is south, this is south here, this is north here. If I want to, have you seen how the anomalies? Are you seeing you are zeroing in to know where you have the highest anomaly coming out from? See it. You see it. Yeah. You see it. You see it. This is where the anomalies are concentrated. The highest locations where you have the anomalies concentrated at you know the anomalies are somewhere here. States. So this is be your targets.